The floods that struck Teso sub-region and parts of the north in 2007 left houses destroyed and gardens washed away. Roads were not spared either. After the floods, government allocated 1 billion shillings to the works ministry to repair several roads in the area, but residents say the contractor did a shoddy job. Katakui and Amuria benefited from money for emergency repair of roads affected by floods through the office of the Prime Minister. However, the quality of work was not good. These people are now calling on the Prime Minister to take action against the contractors who did the shoddy job. The Uganda Debt Network Board Chairman, Professor Edward Kakonge, says the tendering process of the roadworks was flawed from the outset. These projects, road projects, were supposed to benefit those communities after the disaster of floods. But as you see in these reports, they didn't have value for money. Since 2001, the Uganda Debt Network has been monitoring the expenditure of government funds in development projects countrywide. Now, they have partnered with the Church of Uganda's Teso Diocese Development Organization to train people in monitoring government projects. The Teso floods of 2007 caused lots of devastation in the area, and although government came in by injecting 1 billion shillings to construct roads, residents now say that the money was not put to proper use, which highlights the serious problem of corruption that is facing the country. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, Prime Minister's Office.